and they make it clear. Say, hey, look, say, uh, uh, prose is fine, we like to have you. Say, but uh, you get out there, you stub your toe or something like that, and then your f career is over. What are you going to fall back on? Right. See, that degree when you're 80, you still yeah. have that degree. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you yeah. still qualify That's right. for something. That's See? right. Well, what about the, the young ladies? Uh, do you have any problems uh, <laughs> getting that over to them that is, academics is, is, is the future? Um, mostly, they, they are in tune with wanting to graduate. A lot of the young ladies um, set their schedule up and they, they're following their program. Um, every now and then you'll have a few that struggle, but for the most part, they're very, they're self-structured. They 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 go to study hall like Coach Brooks. Um, you have the same ruling as far as the ladies. Well, no, concerned. we don't have the five on five, but uh, <laughs> I might need to think about that. Um, we do, don't, do don't we don't do that one, um, but we do class tell, checks. Tell us what you do. We do class checks, and mm -hmm. um, thus far this year, as with uh, Coach Brooks. Um, the young ladies have been accountable for their education, and um, they're, you know, looking to graduate. Most of the young ladies out of the women's basketball program are graduating, so that's a good thing. Yeah, well, that's important. Now, as far as uh, coach, tell us some of the Bowie players. You, now, since you've been associated with Bowie for a while, that have ac actually made pro. A lot of people don't realize there's uh, players in 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 the pro and from the CIAA you know, that's mm -hmm. in the pro ranks. Mm -hmm. uh, well, from, from Bowie, uh, I can't think of an NBA player, mm -hmm. but I know there are several well, guys who have played overseas, right. uh, which, which, is, which the, is pro. The CIAA then. Yeah. Um, uh, now, ben Wallace. Ben Wallace. Uh, recent guy. Uh, right. Flip Murray is in the league right now. Mm -hmm. um, uh, Charles Oakley back a few years yeah. ago. Those are some of the more recent, recent. Uh, people that, that have played in the league. And, and it's one of the things that we try to stress to young men when we're recruiting them is uh, if you come in and, and you're really a guy who can play in the league, the league will find you in mm -hmm. the CIAA. Mm -hmm. uh, mm -hmm. you, you're going to be able to play against because guys who Because they have who a reputation. Are, correct, right. correct, right. correct. You're going right. to be able to play against guys who have, who have reputations, who are good players, who the NBA and overseas teams are looking at, mm -hmm. so you'll have that opportunity. Mm -hmm. Well, well, uh, you mentioned the fact that uh, CIAA, as far as uh, 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 Division Two, is is right up the top. Uh, I like to just expound on it since you've been around to a lot of schools. Uh, what do you think of the CIAA program overall? You know, I I think. I think it's a, it's a tremendous it's a tremendous league uh, with some with some great institutions, uh, and we all have a similar mindset for our young men and, and women. In that, again, we want these people to come in, we want them to become educated, and we want them to graduate. And, and I think first and foremost, that is the mission of the CIAA. Uh, from sports programs, you know, again, yeah. you have you have a wide range of different programs successful programs, programs that go on to compete for national championships, you know, at, at this level. Uh, and the CIAA tournament is, without a doubt in my mind, the best college basketball tournament, bar none, in the mm -hmm. country. Uh, it, it's a tremendous week, and, and I, you know, yep. and we have to go through the year, but I, I can't. <laughs> I'm really excited about the tournament as right, well. Right, right. Yeah. But, that you, you know, many times, uh, uh, um, the fans out there, they think, you know, because you're from a, a Division II school, is that, you know, you're inferior. But I try to tell them, and, and I name, and I can name a few others, you know, that have gotten in the pro ranks that uh, really produce, you know. Mm -hmm. and because one thing they don't understand is that the CI, most of the CIAA schools were African American schools, right. that the individuals were denied playing in the yes. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. division now. Well, yeah. What do you think about that? Well, I just, it just, it shows where, how far the league has grown, how much the league has grown, um, because now you just, you have uh, 
a, a wide range of, of, of student athletes there. Mm -hmm. uh, you have different, you have, you have white students, you have Asians, you have, you know, yeah. so the diversity is there, but it just, just goes to show how strong this league has been for the number of years to be able to come from where we were right. to flourishing, mm -hmm. to flourishing be, now. Because right now, uh, you know, there was a prediction that once integration came, that uh, the uh, African-American schools would suffer. But I don't think so. I don't think that's true. Because with all the competition, mm -hmm. they're still able to uh, function and, and, and play well in, mm -hmm. in the Division Two. What do you think of that, Donna, with, with the ladies? Um, I think it's a good opportunity. I know with um, the women, um, being also an athletic administrator, um, just the opportunities that, that a lot of the women are able to receive right now within the CIAA conference, is, is a, it's great. Um, you know, we have um, our senior women administrator, uh, Monique Morgan, who's always pushing for the young women of the CIAA to look at to different opportunities with the NCAA. So the CIAA does offer a lot of opportunities for women. Um, to get out there and, and, and explore different um, fields in the sporting um, arena. So it's a very good opportunity. It's a good learning experience. Um, it's a good networking opportunity as well. Um, okay, here we go. Now, <laughs> prediction for this 2009-2010 suit. Coach, I want to put you on the spot. Well, I, you know, I don't really have a prediction. Darryl. <laughs> other to say that, other to say that uh, every night that you watch the Bowie State men's team, you're going to see a team that plays extremely hard, defends and rebounds very well, gets up and down the floor in transition, mm -hmm. and I think you'll you'll like the product that we that we put on the floor. You're going to be over 500. <laughs> yeah, I like to think that. <laughs> I, like I, made that. Yeah, 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 I, like, I made it easy for you. I made it easy for you. I said over 500. Yeah, I, like that, yeah, that, I mean, I mean, our, our goal isn't to to be a 500 or over team. Our goal is to, is to to win a league championship and yeah. to ultimately win you the tournament. Yeah, to set your goals high. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So right. we just, but again, we feel like if we do the right things and play the right way every night, mm -hmm. the wins will come. Okay, Donna, what about you? Well, I'm not going to predict now, anything. Now you, you, no, don't be afraid because you <laughs> predicted last year and you went to the championship. Yes, we did. Right? Yes, we did. All yes, right. We now. Did. Yes, we're, we're looking to, to um, so win I expect the Eastern Division. Some numbers. And we're looking to get back into the championship. That is our goal mm -hmm. um, this year um, for the team. Um, so with that said, I guess if we're doing that, we're predicting ourselves to be there. So, yes, um, right, right. We're looking to go out each and every night and play hard. Um, and, and, and do the hard work necessary behind the scenes to be able to produce um, a, a good, good basketball game for, for, for the fans to come out to see um, throughout the year. But, but, but I think that uh, Bowie State uh, has done a wonderful job in all the sports, and they have the balance. Uh, you, you're stressing education, mm -hmm. and you're dealing with the fact that these students have to be prepared for life. Mm -hmm. Not for basketball, not for football, for life. Because life out there, you, got, you really have to condition yourself and understand there's more to the game than just basketball, football. You have a career in which it's going to be a whole lot of days that you're not be, going to be playing ball. Just like I say, in the pros, if you don't get it by 30, you, you can hang it up. The average person lives now 65, 70 years. So you got 35, 40 years that you won't be able physically to compete. So you have to get the academics. Those are the things that I stress. And all the uh, professional teams, the college teams, that are stressing that, making sure the youngsters understand when they get out there, they got to get the academics because you can't take that away from you. Right. But man, you like I said, you stub your toe or something in pros, baby. <laughs> what, what have you done for me lately? <laughs> you know, that's the way they come about. And that's the real life. Mm -hmm. And your job, and they're doing a great job there. It's really great. And I'd like to thank you for being here. And I'll be out there, what is the 30th, the first game? 28th. 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 Okay, yep. the 28th. Go out there and see Bowie. You have to go out and see, and the ladies play the same time as the men. See you next.